Over the last few years, we've been reporting repeatedly on 2CTV about the Chinese infiltration of the British establishment. From the UK Parliament to the city of London. But things are getting worse because uh, the Chinese Communist Party are now targeting individual citizens of the country, small, medium-sized businesses and, of course, corporations. There was a meeting recently in Silicon Valley uh, amongst the five eyes of course the us the uk canada australia and new zealand where they talked about the threat from the ccp and it's all about cyber and of course if they get access to the sensitive part of our cyber security that also includes nuclear now after a few years of uh, tensions among the five eyes mostly because of new zealand under jacinda ardern that created some tensions because jacinda ardern wanted to get closer to the Chinese Communist Party and President Xi. Now that she's gone, we've gone back to status quo. According to the head of MI5, Ken McCallum, more than 20,000 people, ordinary people in the United Kingdom have been approached by Chinese agents online and of course in person as part of epic scale espionage efforts. And of course, a lot of people have been falling for this and this is becoming a big problem. One individual, as we reported in the past, was uh, Gwayne Towler. Gwayne is a good friend of mine and he was actually a, a, a part of the, the communications team. He was the head of communications for UKIP and Nigel Farage uh, a few years ago. Uh, he was actually approached by Chinese agents uh, on LinkedIn. And they were pretending that they were business people from Hong Kong. They dragged him all the way uh, to Asia and he realized, ah, there is more to this story. Now, according to The Telegraph, while some UK companies are now spending millions of pounds to spend on cyber insurance, many of them remain uncovered. Most vulnerable are businesses who are small and medium sized in Britain, according to Jamie McCall, who's a cyber research fellow at the defense think tank Royal United Services Institute. He said, a lot of organizations just don't view it as an important risk, particularly smaller companies. They might think, you know, a cyber attack is something that happens to someone else, or it's something that only happens to large corporations. Now, of course, we know it's not true. Until now, we've been more worried about uh, Chinese agents uh, approaching people in real life, in the offline world, as we call it nowadays. But the cybersecurity issue is becoming a big issue, a big problem because of the numbers. Now, when you look at 2022, 2023, cyber attacks are occurring more frequently. These are the reported cybercrime incidents. That's not just about China, that's everything in general. Since the, the last quarter of 2022, to also mid-2023, the numbers continue to go up. Now, as we said recently, Five Eyes had some tensions among themselves because of this idiot, Jacinda Ardern, who was in charge of New Zealand for a while. And uh, because she was in the pockets of President Xi and the CCP, she wanted to get closer to China. And in that regard, she actually at one point completely undermined the Five Eyes agreement, saying we're not going to be involved anymore, really. And um, they withdrew from some of the schemes that were happening at the time. This is why, we're, as I always say, when we are worried, we criticize uh, the globalism agenda from the Western globalist um, kind of system. But at the same time, let's not forget, there is also such thing called uh, the Eastern globalist agenda as well, led by the likes of uh, China. And they are actually, instead of actually completely rivaling the Western side, they are infiltrating the Western side. They are bringing in the Western politicians, let's just say, and they are completely undermining everything that we stand for, then that's how you actually create division where people in the West are more busy attacking each other based on toilets and pink hair and a unicorn and all that nonsense instead of actually looking after our national security. Now, let me know in the comment section if you've uh, had to deal with any uh, cyber crime or if you've ever been uh, targeted in the past. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.